<laughs> hey guys, welcome oh, to the Christchurch Christ episode. episode. It's snowing. <laughs> Yeah, we're currently in the Antarctica Center. We'll show you around in a sec, but also on this episode, we're gonna get some delicious food, find out why this is called the Garden City, and show you where to go for some jaw-dropping views. Come on, let's go. Oh, so the prices here are actually $59 per adult, and children come in for $29. Right now we're going onto the Antarctic snowmobile, the Haglin Ride. They basically simulate what it's like to be in the Antarctic. Signed in Sweden for the Swedish army. They float despite how heavy they are. And it also warns that, you know, you shouldn't come onto this ride if you're pregnant or if you've got motion sickness. I get motion sickness pretty easy, but it was an okay ride for me. <laughs> So guys, this Antarctic Storm Center was actually opened by Sir Edmund Hillary in 2003. Basically what happens is you get to go inside, they give you warm jackets, don't worry, and you get to experience what an Antarctic storm feels like. Yo, no, my, one of my dreams is actually to go to Antarctica. And now... What is we're gonna get for now? <laughs> <laughs> we made it to Antarctica! It's so cold and this... And the summer storm hasn't even started yet. Apparently the summer storm's like negative eight degrees. It feels like negative eight degrees right now. Apparently made my way into the igloo to escape this wind storm. It's really cold. Look, look how cold it is. I hope this footage comes out all right. Mom, I love you. Again, I love you. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I survived Antarctica. Yes. That was absolutely freezing. As you saw, Peter went and escaped into the igloo <laughs> instead of waiting out that storm. We're currently at the blue penguin enclosure. Those little penguins are so super cute. And the ones that are here at the Antarctica Center are the ones that have some physical disabilities that have been left defenseless. And so the center here takes care of them. They're ones that can't be rehabilitated back into the wild, but they're all well looked after here. Guys, that wraps up this Antarctica Center. Definitely a really awesome thing to do if you're in Christchurch, come visit. We're gonna go get some breakfast right now and right behind me is a place that's been recommended by one of our viewers, Samuel, and also Gabo, C1 Espresso. Let's go check it out. I've got the magical color changing jasmine white tea. It's meant to change color when we pour some of this lemon juice into it. It's like a science experiment. <laughs> Super refreshing. You can smell that jasmine white tea. It's a very light fragrance. I think it's a fun novelty thing. <laughs> so the poached eggs on toast are $10.90. You can see all that granny yolk. The bread and the egg are pretty good. Blue breakfast smoothie bowl, coconut, mango, and blueberries. The base of this one seems to be banana. Crunchiness from the coconuts has a nice touch. And it added with the coolness from the smoothie bowl. All goes together really nicely, and it's a great way to start your day. Another must-do activity when you're here visiting Christchurch is Hackley Park and the Christchurch Botanic Gardens. We are here right now in the Botanic Garden. So I don't really know what to expect when I got here, but once we arrived and we started exploring, found a whole bunch of different places to go into. Right now I'm in the Cunningham House, and as you can see around me, there's a whole bunch of different tropical plants, and we're in this greenhouse nursery. It's super cool. So entry here to the Botanic Gardens is free, and although we've never been to America, we kind of picture that this is what Central Park in New York City must look like. There's plenty of things to do and see. It's just a really beautiful place. Welcome to the Christchurch Fact Section. Did you know that Christchurch is actually the oldest city and it's also the largest in the South Island? Christchurch is also historically known as the gateway to Antarctica. And that explains why the International Antarctic Center is based in Christchurch. Christchurch is also home to my favorite super rugby team, the Canterbury Crusaders. Final fact, the nickname given to Christchurch is Garden City. And that's because it's owing to the large Botanic Gardens. So if you get peckish, you can come here to the Ilex Cafe, but we're actually going to go find us some Cambodian food. Let's go. 
we've arrived and we are going to try Cambodian food for the first time. This is very exciting because we're actually gonna go to Cambodia this year. Currently in Sai Kamae Cambodian cuisine. Just ordered a little bit of food with some help from the lovely lady who runs the store with the family. The classic pork bun, also popular in Chinese cuisine. Break this in half and let's have a look inside. Happy place straight away. The pork is nice and fatty, really juicy. The bun itself, perfectly pillowy. And the flavors inside, just sensational. Really nice and salty, mixes in with that fattiness. Oh, that's delicious. Yen and I were thinking about sharing this, but no, we can't share this, we need one each. This is too good. Also got some fried calamari to try. That calamari is buttery soft. My goodness, we're off to a fantastic start. I also got myself an ice milk tea. That's good. <laughs> All our food has arrived. I've got myself a nice traditional chicken and rice noodle soup. Some really, really nice broth. It's salty too, just like how I love my soups. We have also got a whole bunch of condiments that we can add and try to either spice it up, make it more lemony. But I really like how it is already. It looks like a really simple dish, but it's got so much flavor. It's super yummy. I can't wait for us to go to Cambodia if this is an, any indication of what the food's gonna be like there. Pork based broths are one of my favorite things. And when I saw it on the menu, plus with some sour cabbage, plus the fact that it's actually traditional Khmer style, I had to go in on this. Gotta go in for some of this broth first. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, my mum actually makes something really similar to this. It's one of my favorite dishes from her, and it tastes a lot like that. The pickled cabbage is the star of the show right now. It has such a beautiful salty flavor that you can taste the vegetarian nature of it. For some people, having a bone in your meat can be a little bit off-putting, but that is indeed my favorite way to eat because the pork with the bone will always make it a lot more tender, it will just fall right off, and it adds a lot more porky flavor as well. And then you get the subtle hints of the pickles in there. I'm in a happy place. Oh my goodness, I'm so stuffed, but what a fantastic meal here at Kamae. And right now we're going to make a quick stop into the city. We're currently in the town square and we're just about to go see the Christchurch Cathedral. We'll show you that it still has a lot of damage from the 2011 quakes. It's very sad to see, but hopefully one day it's going to get rebuilt soon. For our final activity, we're here at Christchurch Gondola. I think it's gonna have some incredible views and if we're lucky, we're gonna get a very beautiful romantic sunset. We're just about to go on the gondola right now. It's $30 per adult or $15 for children. Romantic. Oh God. <laughs> Even though this is the same country here in the South Island, the mountains and the hills look so much more rugged than North Islands, like in the North Island everything's really green and hilly and lots and lots of trees. But here, very dramatic. The views here are incredible. So beautiful and I think we came at the right time. We've got the sunset that's coming and putting that beautiful glow all over the mountains and the hills. Over there, that's Littleton Port. So right back over there is Christchurch City. And as you can see, we are pretty high up above it. $30 for this gondola ride. Totally recommend it. 100% gotta see it. Very romantic. So guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, then make sure you come and check out Christchurch. Food, fantastic. Sites, obviously fantastic and lots to do. And if you like this content, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. If you wanna help Yen and I, you know, reaching the rest of this world, then you might wanna share this content with other people as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you all next time.